Imagine Andy Goldsworthy's Rivers and Tides meets Jackass. There are six holes drilled on each hoop. There are 80 of those. There's five holes drilled on the 12 hoops that have uh, five. So that's 270 bolts, 540 holes for each piece. And then correspondingly, there's 270 bolts and there's uh, 92 hoops. Each of the hoops weighs approximately three pounds, from three to three and a half pounds. The end result uh, on a typical piece would be 300 pounds, nine and a half feet tall. Wine barrel hoops. Everybody in the wine country has always ignored the metal. And I, and I do think it's because you can't do much with it. Geometrically, it's a very specific thing. It's an arc. You cut it in half and it turns not into a flat strip, but it turns into a, yet another arc. What I was trying to do is I was trying to stage my work in a place that I thought contextually it would look good it, as light fixtures and as, uh, as small sculptures. I went over there and uh, put the put one of the pieces together, a nine-foot piece together, and uh, we put it up on the roof. And it was up there for a while, and uh, it was maybe a couple months ago, uh, there was this incident where it got loose from the roof and came down 15 feet. And so uh, that got me thinking, well, this kind of looks neat. Uh, how else can we use this, use kinetic energy, basically, to alter this piece? And uh, about a year earlier, when I had built the first piece, the very first thing one of my friends said is, we had to roll it down a hill. And <laughs> he, hadn't, he hadn't spent three months kind of figuring out how to put one together and driving back and forth to the wine country and collecting hoops. So uh, I, was, I was reticent at first. And, uh, and then after this incident, though, I said, well, basically that's how we got the idea to roll it down the hill. A lot of people who aren't makers have a kind of almost like an in, ingrown fear that they're going to break something. And one of the things to keep keep in mind when you're when you're looking at something like thinking about trying to play around with it is, if it's already broken, you're probably not going to make it worse. <laughs> you know, so why not just kind of see what happens? Every once in a while, you'll get stuck and blow something up and and make a mess. But generally speaking, it's it's the way you learn.